Hey folks, Bernard Fyth here, MD, Mayberry Deputy, and this is a review for your test on Chapter 12, uh, which is a geometry one on surface area and volume of solids, okay? Now, uh, if you're in my class, I, I'm going to have a classroom quiz that I have you work on for about 15 minutes or so, so go ahead and pause the video right here uh, for my guest teacher, and uh, you can take care of this. All right. Okay, so when you come back, uh, we're going to uh, do a review for the test. Um, surface area and volume. Let's go ahead and find the surface area of each solid first, you guys. Okay, here we have a, uh, a cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder, I'm sorry, the surface area, sorry, this says find the surface area. Surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. The 2 pi r squared is for the top circle and bottom circle, pi r squared on top circle and bottom circle. And then the lateral area is circumference, which is 2 pi r times the height. That's what this 2 pi r h is. All right, and then you just plug them all in, you guys. And, and uh, don't forget the square of the 16 first is 256. And then you add them all together, and you should get 1,312 pi uh, inches squared. Don't forget, area is always inches squared. Uh, and then uh, textbooks are starting to convert these to decimals. So if you did 3.14 times uh, 1,312, you get uh, uh, 4,127, okay, 0.77 inches squared. All right, okay, here, here's a cone. Okay, so the surface area of a cone is the area of the base plus the lateral area, okay, and the lateral area is just pi r l, all right, so here's l right here, and then so we're going to go ahead and plug it in, so surface area is going to be pi r squared for the base, plus pi r l, so I'll just plug in the numbers right there, and if I did my, my math right, uh, I get 132 pi centimeters squared, or 414.48 centimeters squared. Okay, all right, here's a pyramid, you guys. The, the surface area of a pyramid, again, is the base plus the lateral area, and then the lateral area is 1 half p l, where p is the perimeter of the base right there. Okay, so 4.4 plus 4.4. Looks like that's 4.4 back there, and that's 4.4 right there. So that would what be P would be on there. Okay, let's go ahead and do the base. The base is a square, so just multiply base times height. 4.4 times 4.4, and I get 19.16. All right, so let's go ahead and get uh, the perimeter, and then uh, the perimeter of the base is 4 times 4.4, so it's 17.6. All right, now we need to get the slant height. The slant height is not written in here, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that in right there with a purple line right there. And what happens is, can you see this nice right triangle right there? Okay, this whole side right here is 4.4, so this little piece right here is going to be half of that, or 2.2. Don't forget this height right here is 12.5, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little Pythagorean theorem right here. And uh, this side squared plus this side squared is going to equal my, my slant height squared, my L squared. Okay, so if I did all my math right, you guys, I get L to be about, and since we're having decimals in here, then I'm going to go ahead and square root that. I get about 12.69. Okay, so, that, so everything's all ready to go right here, you guys. So surface area is right here in red is base plus one half the perimeter times L. So the base was 19.36 one half the perimeter and then times l and if i did my math right 131.03 inches squared okay all right here we have a, a prism a hexagonal prism so the area of a prism surface area of a prism is both bases whoops i went a little too fast both bases plus the perimeter times the height right there okay both bases plus the perimeter times the height now in hexagons, you guys, if it's a regular hexagon, hexagons makes up six equilateral triangles right there. And then so one of those equilateral triangles is the side squared root 3 over 4. Okay? So six of them is going to be 6 times the side squared root 3 over 4. So this is 7.5, so this is going to be 7.5 right there. So 7.5 squared root 3 over 4. And as long as I did my math right, what I did was, is I did 7.5, I squared it, and then I forgot what I got on that. In fact, I can do that right now. So 7.5 squared, I got a calculator in my hand. 7.5 squared is 56.25, and the square root of 3 is 1.7. So I did 56.25 times 1.7. Then I did it divided by 4, and I got, uh, let's see, so uh, times 1.7 divided by 4, 
and I get uh, 23 with some change, and I multiply that by 6, so 23.906 23 times 6 gets me this right here, 146.14. All right, that's one base, you guys. That's base. So I got to get two bases right here. So um, And then the perimeter, uh, the perimeter is, um, uh, since it's uh, a hexagon, it's six sides, so six times... Uh, 6 times um, uh, the 7.5 will get me the perimeter right there. So 6 times 7.5 is uh, 45 right there. And then uh, the height is 18 right there. So this came from 6 times 7.5 right there. And then the height is 18. So if I did it all right, there's my answer right there. Okay, and then don't forget square units. So in this case, centimeters squared. Okay, here's another prism, you guys. Remember, the area of a prism is 2 base plus the perimeter times uh, the height. This time, the height is 5. Okay, I got to get this to get the perimeter right here. Let's do the base first. I think I did the base first. Yeah, that right triangle right there, 1 half base times height for that right triangle is 24. So two of them is going to get me 48. All right, and then uh, I need to get this piece right here to get the perimeter. So 6 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared. That's a 6, 8, 10 right triangle, by the way, but you can get it either way right there. Okay, and then so the perimeter is going to be 6 plus 8 plus 10 right there. So the perimeter is 24. The height is 5, so now it's just plugging them all in, you guys. So I get 168 uh, inches squared, if I did my math right. Okay, okay, here's a, um, a sphere, you guys. The area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So, um, you've got to get the radius first. So, the radius is half that diameter right there. So, it's going to be 4 pi times 10.7 squared. And that's what I get for that answer right there. Okay, isn't this fun, you guys? All right, so section B is find the volume of all of those. The volume's easier, I think, you guys, of all those. So here's number one. The volume of this is going to be the base times the height. The base is pi r squared. The height is just 25. So, so uh, volume of cylinder is base times height, or pi r squared times h. So I get 6,400 uh, pi inches cubed right there. And I don't think I did a decimal answer on that. No, I didn't right there. But if I did, you guys, it would be 6400 times 3.14. And I get, uh, oh my goodness, I get uh, uh, 20,096. Okay. So um, uh, either one's okay with that. 20,096 or 6400 pi. But it's inches cubed, you guys. Volume is always in cubic units. So this is cubic units whenever you see volume. Okay. All right. Okay. Area of a cone is one third the base times the height. And the base is pi r squared. Okay. So I have to get the height. Use the Pythagorean theorem right here. And I get uh, the height is to be 2 root 55 if I did my math right. Uh, okay. So it's going to be one third uh, pi r squared times the height, and I get um, uh, all of that right there. So I get um, I get 24 pi root 55 centimeters cubed, uh, or that as a decimal centimeters cubed. Okay. Let's see. Number three was this guy. Okay. The volume of a pyramid is one third the base times the height. Okay. So it's going to be one third the base, which is 4.4 times 4.4, or 4.4 squared times the height. Okay, so one third of that, uh, I get 240, 242 uh, thirds inches cubed, or uh, 80.6666666666, the six repeats, so that's why the bar is over it right there, inches cubed. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, so the volume of this is just a volume of any uh, prism, you guys, is uh, base times height. Okay, so we had the base from before. The base from before was 146.14. Okay, times the height, 18, so you get that. Okay, see, it's, volume's easier, I think. So centimeters cubed. Alrighty, uh, what else do I have? Okay, so the volume of this, it's another prism, you guys. So base times height. So you get the area of the base, which is 24, okay, from before, and then times the height is 5, so 120 inches cubed. Alright, and then finally, this sphere, the volume of sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Don't forget, uh, r is 10.7. And then if you do all that math correctly, you should get uh, 5,128.85 feet cubed. Don't forget, it's always in cubic units. All right, if you're in my uh, geometry class, I would assign that for your homework. Take care, you guys.